my name is Amy Maddams. I am 43 years old. I'm from South Africa, Johannesburg. Um, I was first diagnosed in March last year. Um, I had a rather large tumour which they removed. It's adrenal cortical carcinoma and nobody really knows much about it. It's a very rare disease. So when I read about this and heard about this on the Facebook page, I thought this is a fantastic opportunity to come and learn a bit more and while I was here perhaps see a few specialists that have been recommended by actually the American support group, which is what I've done and yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been incredibly informative, I found people very helpful. Um, from the organisation, from onset of the organisation up until how the day has run so far, it's been, it's been wonderful. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, I've loved meeting other patients that have the same condition as me. Again, in South Africa, I'm the only one that I know of, that anybody seems to know of, so it's been wonderful meeting other people, swapping email addresses, swapping information. Um, yeah, and you know, when you do have such a rare condition, I think gathering as much information as we can as a group, I think we have to be our own advocates really, and gathering as much information as we can and helping with research going forward, even if it doesn't directly benefit us, it'll potentially benefit patients in future years to come, is critical. And this kind of event is exactly what's needed to do something like that. So I found it tremendously helpful. Hi there, my name's Pete, I'm from Coventry. I'm here for the Information Day for Remainder. Yes, I've been to a couple of events. I went to the event in London last year, and I think we've been to two of the previous events. I think today's very typical of the uh, of several events that we've been to. It's very informal, it's very uh, informative, and I like the way that they mix patient feedback with the specialists at the same time. My wife suffers from the MEM1 condition, she's got some pancreatic tumours and one of the specialists was talking about pan pancreatic surgery and the latest techniques, so for me that was really good. Yeah, I'm Tommy Humphrey, I'm a partner for an MEM1 sufferer who has manifested nearly every form of it. The specialist talking this morning on the uh, pancreas, uh, my partner's had um, a partial removal of pancreas and some other major surgery and it's, it's nice to hear the different approaches and developments, um, so yeah that was quite appreciative actually, very good. Uh, other than her own family, and there's been nobody else, even in clinic, uh, never met another MEM1 sufferer, so to actually meet others who are so similar in their needs and in what they've had to go through, um, yes, I can see in her face she's looking um, very happy uh, and tearful as well, there's been some very tearful moments, so um, it, it's, it's going to be good, I think she'll make some friends here that she can chat to in the future. Uh, my name is Derek O'Reilly, I'm a uh, pancreatic surgeon, I work in Manchester, so I was kindly invited to come here and speak about what that means for patients with MEM. I'm impressed by how friendly it is. Um, and Manchester is a great venue to have a meeting. I fully recommend uh, further meetings in, in Manchester. Um, and I like that there's such good interaction between uh, patients and uh, clinicians. I think you can see it really at the breaks and at lunchtime. People are talking to each other, uh, they're learning from each other, forming networks and support, um, and I've largely being reassured by other people's experiences. Yeah, hi, my name's Luanne Cherry. I'm here because I'm an MEN 2A patient, and today I was also giving a, a patient experience talk to people that have come to learn more about their conditions. The patients have got a real input into what might um, be at the next event. So if people have got a particular worry or if they've got something they'd like to know about, then Joe will try hard to get someone here the following year to give them the information that they need. And that's what's so important about coming each year is you always learn something new and also you might think you know everything about your condition but you might see a speaker that actually tells you something and you go oh okay I didn't know that. So I think with always with the patient events it's meeting other people and listening to other people's experiences. Um, it's really important to have that support network and then when you're feeling a little better yourself to perhaps if you can provide support to others. So an event like this and a, and a charity like Amend is essential because it's run by patients for patients and in that way it's quite unique.